Welcome back to the channel. And today we're back on Nez Perce. Nez Perce? Nez Perce. The Valley. And in the way of the hunter. Don't really have a, much of a plan, honestly. I've got some animals. I want to see if they've grown. So we're right at drink time. And we're going to see what we have on our map. Kind of run around for a full day of hunting. And hopefully come out with a big trophy. Because last time we did. So check that video out. And without further ado. Let's jump right in. Well, we got a herd moving in, and this is a herd I haven't actually seen too much of. We actually have a decent four-star mature mule deer. And unfortunately, I think we're just gonna let him go. I wanna see if we can't get him to grow. I'm not having luck getting these guys to grow, but man, look at him. Just a good looking mule deer. Really good looking mule deer. Bunch of does with them. There's another one. That's actually a decent looking one too. I wonder what his rating is. Let's see what we've got. A two star mature. Might take him. Need to do some herd maintenance. And we got more coming in still. A bunch of does with this herd. There's another two star mature. So we got a couple. Oh man, another one coming in. Another. That was a two star adult, I think, though. Yep, two star adult. I'll let that guy go. They, oh, a one-star mature. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to take him out. I'm not going to wait around uh, to see what else we have. Now, I do want to wait until he's out of this vegetation. There he goes. Is he going to stop anytime soon? Anytime soon for me. There he is. Whoa! What just happened there? What was that? What was that? Let me see. That hit right where I was, just about where I was aiming. We hit like two feet above that guy. I'm honestly not sure what just happened there. And that kind of sucks. I saw that happen to Scarecrow recently in a video too. He hit really high. His shot should have been good, but he hit really high. Well, happens to the best of us sometimes. Okay, we got a pack of wolves. We just spooked off a herd of mountain goat. We got a pack of wolves right across the lake here. I'm not sure if we have anything great in there. I'm trying to get within range so that I can range them and then hopefully take about a 300 yard shot. I don't want to. Okay, there we go. Let me get up a little bit closer just to be safe. Okay, we got a female mature. Young female. Young female. Mature female. A one star adult. One star young. So. Don't want to take out the females because I don't want to hurt my herds. I don't see. Oh, a two star mature. Maybe we'll take him. Kind of lead in the pack there. We used to 300 just because of the distance. Go ahead and bump up to about a 300 meter zero. You just slow down enough. Instant kill. That's what we like to see. That's what should have happened with the last one. Now, there was a few we might not have scanned. But he's one that was worth taking just right off the rip. Um, I want to kind of help my wolf population grow a little bit better. I honestly don't see too many of them. But I haven't been in areas that look for them all that much. Or that have them in it all that much. So to see them, I see them... Maybe every 
two, three times I come to this lake for drink zone times. So being able to see them this time around was pretty cool. Especially over there, usually they're on this side. So that was a lot easier to get in on them. I believe this would be my second or third wolf I've killed. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think I've ever killed that many, especially not any uh, high trophy rating ones. So this guy, we got with the double lung pretty easy. It probably should have used a 308 at that distance, but I didn't want him to go anywhere. It's hard enough to run around this lake to find him. So we dropped him down quite a bit. I think the guy used a really small caliber, like the 243 or the 3030, but he only had a 51% genetic rating. You know, let's see how much we lost. A good bit of meat there, 28 pounds. That's a good amount of meat to lose, so it's not the best thing to do, but I did get him to go down quite quickly, and I don't have to keep running around chasing him. Well, one of the things I've been working on is upgrading my calls, and I actually got to call level two, um, which gives me the ability to call in like low fitness bucks, high fitness bull elk, low fitness bull moose, things like that. And what I want to do is try and get an elk to come in, especially a high fitness one. I think we have, if this is the right herd that I'm going after, some three stars, maybe they're four stars now. We did have a four star and I haven't been able to find it. So he might have passed on, unfortunately. He was a beautiful, beautiful, big four star. Um, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to find him. So I just, I kind of got a warning call from them kind of over there where my waypoint is I kind of just picked a spot hoping that was the right distance and hoping they didn't spook off or anything not sure where they're going uh, we are past drink time now at this point but I'm hoping that we get into about 180 yards on this waypoint and I'll be able to pull out my call and make a call and get the bull to respond now of course it wouldn't be me if I don't mention it is September. Hallelujah. That means it is screaming bull time in real life. And some of us will be going out hunting, hopefully. And I wish you all the best. I will be going end of September into the mountains with for, oof, for about a week, if we're lucky enough, with the bow and chase after some bugles for the end of the season for the last week of it. Hopefully we'll be able to land something. It's been a few years since I've landed an elk. Uh, never landed one with a bow, so it would be quite a joy to do it. But any of you that are going, I do wish you the best of luck. So now this call involves a chuckle, which is pretty challenging to bulls usually. Um, so hopefully since it is for a higher fitness one, we'll get one of these high fitness bulls to respond. Catch them, catch them out here. Get them in close and use the 300 on them. Do you have the 300 and the 308? Definitely gonna be, we got Bighorn here too. My goodness, we just got them all. Somehow they spooked. I moved half an inch and they spooked. Oh. Well, we'll uh, see if we can't put a track in on them. My wind was perfect. I'm not quite sure what spooked them there. The elk seem super skittish in this game, which is unfortunate. Um, I mean, they are in real life, but <laughs> I just, I can't seem to get in close. Like the challenge is to get, I have a challenge right now to get in with 109 meters and take a bull moose or bull elk. And I've been trying, but man, I just can't get them to come in. Calling them, nothing works. Sure seems like they are just super hard to get in close on. But I'll accept the challenge. I'll take it on. Okay, looks like we found them. We have a one-star adult up there. This might be a totally different herd, honestly. A couple two-star matures, or one two-star mature. 
But we did find a herd. Is this the herd I was on, though? Pick, pick one. There we go. Come on, pick one. One star dolt. Just keep seeing me one star dolt. And drop a waypoint. Hopefully I don't forget where they're at. I'm not sure if this is the herd we just spooked off. I was just coming up on where they were when they spooked. We still had those bighorn going nuts. But since we got a bighorn in the last video, I think we'll leave them. I think we actually got that one star dolt attracted to our call. I'm trying to get eyes on the one up there. A two star mature. Maybe we try calling this guy. Yeah, we got a low fitness male wanting to come in. I'm pretty sure. There he is. I see him coming through that tree right there. You guys see him? Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in hot. I'm gonna pull up the 300. There he is right there. I'm not gonna risk a shot here. Because I do want to complete this mission. It is gonna get work towards getting me access on an area that I want access to. I don't want to buy the pass for anything. Wow, look at that. He is coming right in. Just moving trees out of his way. I need him to give me a shot. He just isn't giving me a shot through those trees. I'm afraid it might mess up my ability to hit him. Oh man, I missed my point to give him a call. It might have not have worked like I wanted it to. But let's. Where'd he go? How do you lose such a big animal? Man, I think my call spooked him. I didn't hear him spook off, though. Where did he go? There he is, right there. No, that's a four star. Wait, he's still here. Oh, he moved off to the right. There, 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 there. Okay, we can get a shot on that. It's gonna be a frontal shot, but I think we'll be all right. Should be a good shot, should be good. He should be going down right there. He is hurt. Oh, oh man, we did get him. And we do have a four star mature up there as well. Okay, we do need to keep an eye on this herd then for that four star. I might track them down because of where they're at. We might be able to track them down until they calm down. They're gonna go right up into there. I don't think they can get out of here with where we're at on the map. And I'll show you guys after we pick this guy up. But they should, in theory, calm down. I'm gonna watch them and see if they calm down any. They should really calm down, though. And get the actual rifle scope out so we can see. Why am I reloading? And they're gonna calm down right there. And I think that's our four star. <gasps> oh my gosh, he is a giant. Man. I'd really like to let him grow. But if I can get in and get a good shot on him, we'll definitely take him out for this video. Plus I need a I need a four star anyways. We haven't taken one yet. I'm, I'm gonna bet that's our four star. Yeah. We run past our one we are shot. No, he's right there. <laughs> you can't miss a big animal like that. 
Now, I, if I had to guess, this guy has pretty bad genetics. He had some funky antler stuff going on. But let's see the heart, the shot placement. Beautiful artery, left lung, heart. Just ripping through. Perfect shot placement. Right above the sternum. Exactly what I wanted to do. Right into the heart. This is like prime shooting. Right above the sternum, right into the heart. Just absolutely what you need to do on those shots. And let's see, 26.48% genetic potential. No wonder he came in to a low fitness call. Let's uh, bring all this out. Take a look at him. Yeah, definitely his funky antlers. Hopefully one to take out 428. Only lost four pounds of meat. Well, five pounds of meat, if I can read. It's not a bad one to take. Not bad at all. Oh, well... I don't know if that went towards my mission or objective or not. Nope. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I forgot to activate the mission. So we didn't get that. But I do think we will get in on this four star and try to take him. Probably not at that close of range. Uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult because he's a little bit more smart. He's been alive a little longer. So let's see what we can do, though. Okay, oh man, we got two star mature. That would also be a nice call. Let's see, yep, well, there's our four star mature. I don't think a call would work at this distance because I'd love to get him to come in and to see what those are. Oh man, what a giant. Absolute giant. Man, I really want to let him live, but there's the risk of him dying and I don't have a four star yet we have some good genes in this herd though we have a one star young two star mature he probably isn't worth much we got some cows plenty of cows not quite sure where these guys are going they didn't Truly spook? Whoa! Oh, oh my gosh! No! No, 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 no! We got a five star! We've got a five star! Oh, I'm so glad. So glad we didn't take that four star. Oh my gosh. Now, I'm not gonna risk a shot on this. I wanna see where they go. Oh my. What? Where did he come from? He was hiding in those trees. I'm gonna get past this tree here. Because I don't want that tree hitbox to mess up the shot. No excuses here for a missed shot. That's him there. Look at that giant. Oh my gosh. I don't think we can get the camera in on him. I would love to. I'm also not gonna risk messing up the opportunity at this guy so I think we go man I'd really like to get a double lung he's got to come down a little bit further for me oh my gosh I can't believe you I wonder if this is the four star I originally saw I'm really tempted to try this shot I know we can get it into one lung Hit energy is good. Everything is good. They're looking right at me. Okay, he's moving closer. I like that. I want him a little bit closer. Especially if he comes to about where she's at. That'll be an easy shot to take. Man, I'm gonna keep my finger way off my left mouse button because I am super tempted to accidentally hit that button. And you can bet I don't want that. Okay, so he's gonna get right about there. Probably stop. No, he's gonna keep going. Perfect. 
He knows I'm here, and that's what's bugging me. So I want him to stop now, because he's at a perfect spot. Come on there, big guy. You can stop for me. I don't like that they're just staring at me. Come on, big guy. Come on. Stop right there. Okay. I don't know why that doesn't look like good blood, but it should be. Should be good blood. We should be going down soon. It doesn't look like a ton of blood, though. But I risk putting another shot in them. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's slowing down. Is he gonna bed right there? Please. He's bedding right there. We, f we freaking did it. Oh my gosh. What a crazy, crazy hunt. Is that our four star? Do we let it grow? Yeah, we'll let it grow. I don't think that's gonna give me a shot. Where is it? Is that it? No, that's not it. Where's that four star? I would, I would take a four star as well. I think I'm going to... Mm. I think I'm going to try next shot. It just does that weird little head bob thing. bleeding pretty good. I'm not sure about that shot, though. I'm not sure. Is he gonna die right where our other bull died? Pile up right there. Do it. Do it. Do it. No. I'm not so confident on that shot. I might try and spine him. No, no, no. He's gonna bed down right there. He's bedding down right there. Perfect. Too big elk down, guys. Too big bull elk down. Oh my gosh. What a wild hunt. I had no idea what to expect. I mean, I knew I had a four star mature, but I thought he died because I tried finding him. Because I was not ready to wait. <laughs> I, mean, I tried finding him after I saw him and did a couple sleeps and a couple day hunts. Never found him. I'm waiting for this guy to fully expire before we get moving too fast. Holy cow. Thank you guys for joining me on this wild elk hunt. If only our Septembers can be filled like this for everyone. <laughs> Just giant bulls. All of us getting absolute stud trophies. I mean, personally, I'd be happy with that. That guy right there. I, I mean... If I can call that guy in, or even stalk in on him and take him with a bow, I would be happy. I, real life hunting is so hard that I would just be happy with any of it. And he's dead. And he's sliding down. Oh my gosh. We did it. We got two big bull elk down. Oh my gosh. A level five. Or four star and a five star. Like, what? Are the odds in the same herd and we took a one star adult or two star adult was it with very poor genetics out of this herd <sighs> i think we start with the four star we gotta start there i'm gonna run right past this guy not even looking not even looking don't wanna nope nope can't tempt me can't tempt me okay so here's our four star look at this little guy that's like that. I would be happy with that in real life, too. Oh, he'd be a good, nice call, too. He's kind of funky. 
bigger left, small right. But this guy's sliding down the hill still. Still going. Let's turn off our hunter sense. And let's try to snag a photo. Unfortunate about the other antler. You get our big five star back there. And our little four star. Let's pick him up. Did we get in? Oh, we got into the right lung, hit the artery. Okay. I wonder what the penetration was and how we missed the heart because we didn't even get do any cavity damage to the heart I'm wondering if we were man I, oh man we just barely missed a heart shot oh aimed a little higher and we might have but we have would have had a lot more meat to get through and our penetration was already slowed down so much still aiming so had to aim higher. I knew I had to aim higher than what I was, what I'd usually aim at if they're full frontal and same elevation as me. But I have to aim probably up to here. It's good to know though. The next shot is just so difficult because the spine and vertebrae are so small. I just don't know. 75.19% genetics. That was a perfect kill. I'm glad we didn't let him grow. A beautiful four star. Definitely going to taxidermy him. Let's look at his trophy score real quick. 415.1. None of that matters, but he did come in at 1,008 pounds. Beautiful stud bull. Let's see if we can get a good look at him from here. Fortunately, the bullet camera just doesn't give us good looks at him. He is beautiful. We'll definitely taxi him, put him back in the lodge. And now, a moment we've all been waiting for. Look at that. Our elk are still down there. I could probably hunt them some more. This place is awesome. Before we pick this guy up, I will show you guys where we're at. We are kind of on the west side of the map at He Devil. I came here to the campsite just above Dustin's cabin. This place is not private. Private is down here and Haley Witch. And when I was came here to Haley Witch, I kind of was up here on the mountainside and I was running along and I saw this four star bull elk kind of better right down in there. And I knew I wanted to let him grow because I wanted to get to a five star. I was also trying to get in on him so I could call him in and complete the challenge if I could, but they ended, I ended up falling down the mountain and almost dying and spooking him off. So it didn't work out, but with them being right in here when we came into the campsite, they're probably right over here. And we spooked them up here, killed the one, and we spooked them up here again. And we got them, got them both taken care of. And without further ado, let us get some trophy shots with this guy and our rifle. And then we'll move on to picking them up. Perfect with that. With those photos taken care of, guys, let's claim them. Let us see, where did we get right lung? I thought I was at front of this shoulder. I thought I was further in front, so that I'd get into that double lung. But we did only get them with a single lung. Kind of almost made it to intestines, not quite. No, not even close, honestly. That was kind of a bad shot. I definitely thought we were more forward here which is where I was wanting to get into both lungs. We got them nonetheless, and we might just be able to get a good look at his antlers. Look at that guy. Wow. Wow. Once in a lifetime bull. Just outstanding. Let's see his genetics, 95.57%. Trophy score, 463.0. So he's maybe a young mature, honestly. At 95%, I feel like he could have gone a little bit further and gotten to like 470, maybe 480. 95, 5%. Our first five star of the Elks, as they call them in the Lodge, Elks. 
a Rocky Mountain elk down in September. You don't know how excited I am that we actually did it, guys. I was not planning on this at all. Honestly, I just kind of came down here on a whim, hoping we could get taken care of <laughs> or find something good and call something in. I couldn't have asked for something better. I mean, look at these second tines. These brows are kind of small, but these are huge, just massive. Oh, so cool. Man, guys, we taxied that. And we're going to go to the lodge. I mean, there's no doubt about it. We got to go to the lodge and we got to put them up. And I know where the big five star is going. You already know where it's going to. $3,900. And I don't know if it's going to clip. Oh. I really hope this guy doesn't clip into the tree or the beams there. That is just so unfortunate. They would have loved for that to be perfect. Mm. So sad. It's just so cool to have such a big animal up on a rock platform like that. It's just outstanding. I think we're going to change it when we get more cash to put him right there, right where you come up at the top of the stairs. He'll be looking right at you right next to our four star muley and then his buddy that we took out of the same herd is right here looking down kind of looking angry honestly if you ask me he looks a little whoa didn't mean to go that fast okay maybe not maybe not up close he doesn't look so angry just killer killer antlers on these guys I'm thoroughly impressed with the big elk. We're looking right down at our character, the fire, at our first mule deer we killed. And right over here is the big five star. Totally calm, raising away. It's just, oh, so good. So, so good. I can't believe we, I can't, I cannot believe we did that. Five star elk totally unplanned let me just say with that guys if you like this content as much as i do hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification definitely share with a video with a friend because it helps me and the channel grow and they can enjoy the good content as well i am biased i know that but that aside i think it's good content you guys seem to like it because you guys are going nuts with everything so it sounds like we have something up there bighorn sheep interesting I haven't had bighorn sheep over here by the outpost yet. I did have moose the other day. Future me here. As you can tell, we're walking in on something. And it's right over this way. Uh, after finishing the video up, I came over where those bighorn called from and spotted something as I spooked them off because my wind was horrible and I wasn't really paying attention. And well, this is what I found. That is what I saw running away a five-star bighorn i'm not gonna drag this out i'm gonna get in close we're gonna take him out and i don't know if we have enough to taxidermy him on this video we'll definitely be adding him with our other five star we got in the last video check it out so without further ado let's go kill this guy i think we take that shot right there Oh, what a stud. Dead. Dead. Dead as a doorknob. Let's go pick him up. And quick, as we're running up, I'll show you guys on the map where we're at. Here is the starting cabin, Bear Dan Ranch. Just northwest of there, or northeast of there. <laughs> Whatever, northeast of there. They're right up here by the Badger area. Don't know what they were doing up there. We tracked them over to here, took them down. And here he is, oh my gosh, look at that curl. What a stud. Couple quick photos, let's claim them. Let's see what we did. We got into the heart from 192.6 yards on a five star. That bullet dropped quite a bit more than I wanted it to, to be honest with you, but heart was more cavity damage than it was anything else. Right lung though, perfect hit. Just rocked our guy. Absolute 
tank too. Look at that. I do wish still on Bighorn that they kind of got more of a full curl in. He does have a little bit better on this side. So I'm curious what his genetic potential was. 97.28. I believe that's what our other one was too. I can't quite remember. 469.9. So we couldn't let this guy go for a while. But I had no idea where he was at. Um, and where his zones were. So I'm glad we just kind of took him out right now. What a stud. All that aside. Honestly, huge thank you to all of you. Like the videos, share them and comment on them. It means the world to me. It really means you guys appreciate what I'm doing. And I appreciate you guys supporting me. Now you don't want to miss out on more good content. Like I said, it's September. So I have elk fever. You never know what we're going to be going after. I'm going to be gone for a full week into September. I'm going to do my best to try and get videos out and scheduled to be uploaded while I'm gone for that week. But it might not happen, but I do have a plan for at least one of the videos to be scheduled and put up. That's going to be a wild one, and it's going to be in Call of the Wild, The Hunter. So you guys will want to subscribe so you don't miss it. And with all that said, go enjoy a good hunt with a good friend, and I'll catch you in the next one.